Hey everyone, welcome to another live episode of Beta Insider. I'm your host, Noelle. Thanks so much for joining us today. Super excited for you all to be here to learn more about ClickBot, which we have available over at beta.com. ClickBot is a modular robot, but not only is it a modular robot, it's actually your family's new best friend. Uh, it listens, it thinks, and it reacts. It's so innovative, you're not even gonna believe that it's a piece of technology because it just, it the way that it reacts is, is so incredible and um, it was founded or it was created excuse me by a company called key eye tech which was founded back in 2014 they're headquartered in beijing and my guest today joins us live from beijing ash zhang from the company key eye tech to tell us more about clickbot hi ash so good to see you hi and thank you for inviting me my name is ash from Key Eye Tech. Um, we're a high-tech robotics company located in LA, dedicated to delivering new concepts of personal robot that fits well in both recreational and educational purposes. Well, to be specific, we want to change the way people learn with and from robots, and truly wish our unique technology could bring more happiness to create a better world for every family. And I'm very honored to deliver this interview with humble and proud to our current and future ClickBot family members. And thanks, Nolay, thanks to Beta as our distinguished partner to provide me this opportunity. Thank you, Ash. We're so honored to have you here as well to tell our digital audiences more about the ClickBot robot. And I'm excited to learn more about it as well. So let's start off um, by understanding what is the ClickBot robot? Sure. So ClickBot is a modular, intelligent coding robot. Well, it's a robot by all means. And it's also a high-end educational toy. Very fun to play, easy to learn, and a good substitute for many types of toys. And moreover, ClickBot is more than a product, it's a platform. We say ClickBot is a whole universe because from the hardware's per perspective, we have only 10 different modules you can actually create limitless possibilities. And from the software perspective, the OTA system we have allows us and our users to generate infinite organic content for this product. Great, so we have actually a brand video. We want everybody watching to be able to see the ClickBot robot in action. So let's play that video right now. What is ClickBot? ClickBot is your new best friend. It is a buildable robot with a personality. Did I say robot? I meant a car or puppy. Actually, it can be whatever you want. You'll never be bored with your new companion. ClickBot has an affectionate personality and it will play with you. ClickBot's modular design allows you to build anything you can imagine or choose from thousands of existing configurations created by other users in the ClickBot app. ClickBot can climb, play games, and even work out with you. ClickBot is your perfect companion for creative education. Learning STEM has never been this fun for all ages. Learn code by dragging and dropping the blocks in the Blockly program and gradually grow to be a more advanced coder train critical thinking skills, and make your ideas real with ClickBot. ClickBot's cute personality and multifunctionality will make ClickBot a member of your family in no time. No matter your age, ClickBot is a friend to play and learn with. We hope you share the passion and excitement we had creating this with you. Such a great video, and like I said, um, the technology is amazing just when you look at how seamlessly the ClickBot robot is able to move and to think and react. So tell me, Ash, how long exactly did it take to develop ClickBot? Okay, ClickBot was born in 2014 in a college lab. So three co-founders of Key Tech led a team and developed the first ClickBot. We call it ClickBot 1.0. It's actually very different than the ClickBot we see now. Look, it's actually a very, basically a very bigger joint and a lot of them, you know, the sphere-shaped smart circle. 
And here's a funny story. ClickBot was designed as a weapon and funded by investors from military background. To be specific, um, you know, this is very modular and it almost looked like a cannonball size, right? So the investors want us to fire it to the battleground, you know, assemble together in different shapes and perform various functions and tasks. Well, however, it turns out to be an educational robot. Perhaps we are we prefer love and peace and care more about our generations. So since um, our first investors like it too, they said, uh, well, educational robot is good. So we we're able to move on and became the pioneer of modular robot adopted in consumer level usage. So we started our applications in schools. It's a standard 2G to government business, like a support public schools, the coding courses and attending the robot competitions. Then the game change is in 2016, we start to move on to the consumer applications. And this is the new ClickBot we're seeing. Um, what you're seeing now, we build it very, much smaller, much cooler and more variable in the different modules. The technology we have fused in this designing has made this deeply touching robot. It is a robot with temperature that can warm your heart. So our goal is to create a smart ecosystem that penetrates many scenarios in a family with our abundant and unique applications. Wow, I had no idea that it started off as, or was created initially to be a weapon. <laughs> and now as you're saying is, a, is an educational tool for children to learn um, STEAM skills. And tell me why it was important for the company to create a product for children. Okay. We're born and uh, live in this tech booming era. Like me, I'm about 30 years old. Every day, new things and technologies are coming up and endless information brushes our eyes and mind continuously. It's a great timing for inventors. And what we believe children, every one child is an investor is an inventor. They are always curious and thinking very creatively. In one word, children's imagination is unstoppable. For example, in the old times, this thinking to add wings to a car, and that's exactly how the planes, the aircraft come out. But however, not every child get the chance to realize their imagination, their lack of opportunities and platform. Uh, to be specific, like a tool, or an environment supported parents and their time or good lessons and so on. So slowly and slowly, this child became afraid of creation and don't want to face their imagination anymore. It could end up badly like, well, maybe I'm not a creative person after all. The reason they are creative, but they, they are short in recognition of their creation because they don't have things to present. So without this stimulation, there won't be any more creativity. We're burying their, the seed of creativity and the children's dreams. This is why we make ClickBot. We want to give them a tool, a platform to make their imagination come true. Then they can show their works to their parents, friends, or everyone online to gain the recognition and the feeling of achievement. So in this way, slowly we become confident. I'm very creative. And this goes into a positive circulation. This can change a child's life. When they encounter something like me, it's not someone that tell me what to do and how to do. I will need to think about it and I will solve the problem with creativity. Wow, so in addition to reinforcing creativity, um, how does the ClickBot robot help aid in a child's early development? For childhood development, I think we just talk about how we can fulfill this gap between the children's imagination and their final works in the previous question. So this is, of course, a big part of what we can do for childhood development. But I would like to talk more about it. Uh, moreover, we're simplifying this process. Um, let's compare with some traditional toys, let's say Lego. It takes quite a while to assemble and build something, right? And we found out that quite some people, and especially children, after they bought a Lego, they follow up 
with the the instructions in the uh, in the guidebook, assemble something and done. And by done, I mean really done with the product, not anymore, because creating is still a bit complicated, hard to operate. So with ClickBot, this platform, we can reduce the building and assembling time about a thousand times less. I'm not joking and I'm not crazy, just like this. And detach. As easy as that, no wiring. You don't need a screwdriver driver to tighten some structure, just like this. And it also reduced the cost of making mistakes and regret. For example, you don't want to put it here anymore, simply detach it, put it somewhere else. And it's why we name it quickly, just one click and everything is done. And those pieces, Ash, they're communicating to each other? Yes, they are Come communicating together. to each other. Yes, not only they are communicating each other with the brain unit, also this brain is the power center and the control center of all robots. Mm. Wow. Um, and and I'm excited to, I, we, we, actually I have a quick follow-up question before we get to the product demonstration because we saw a couple of kids in the brand video using the ClickBot robot. Um, so what is the age range that this product is perfect for? We recommend it for eight years plus, but we do have proof that this ClickBot is suitable and very attractive to children younger than that. Yeah, great. Now, I know you have a couple of the robots there with you, so we would love to see them and also see how they work. Sure. Let me give you a very basic introduction of ClickBot. Look, here is all the ClickBot I have uh, prepared today. I just prepare based on my imagination and um, let me show you something very basic. It's called Buck. Oh, it does not have a head now. Let's give it a head and power it up. Look, it's very cute and I can you know, get him on the head it confused me and poke his eyes too look he will be get angry or okay seems a little bit annoyed <laughs> and also i can play a lot of interactions with him like games uh different um interactions attended or unattended and this is just a corner of a clickbot universe let me show you with more you can actually take it out and no need to worry about the connection or the, uh, the electricity. It's all safe and it's hot plug. Okay. So let me show you one more thing called BIC. And I'm sorry for taking a little while because That's I'm okay. master <laughs> Take your time. That is so, it's so fun Here. to watch them move. Sure. And here is what we call a BIC. It's very simple. And look, it only has two wheels. Two wheels, so, okay. You might be wondering how it can drive with only two wheels. Let me show you. And Ash, is that the same brain as the last? Yes. One that you, okay. Yeah, and every brain is the same. So brain is the same. So this is big. It can self-balance on the floor that moves around the, uh, your house or uh, anywhere you, you would like him to. And you can also uh, tickle him and he will make some reactions based on your, your petting. And if, if it's unattended, he will just do it like that, messing around in the, in the house. And you can even lift it up and it'll... Mick is actually a little bit afraid of height. <laughs> so that's so, only. So the... Ash, will he will he follow you around then? Like if you have him at home, he'll just follow you through the house. Sometimes, yes. Okay. Sometimes, no. He is not only cute; he's also very naughty. So never try to <laughs> anticipate. So you never know. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Okay, so uh, switching the camera to, to me, to my side, 
So Big and Buck are the two uh, characters we created. You don't need to do anything. You don't need to even to download the software on your phone. It's right out of the box experience. Wow. And also very good for education. Say if you bought a educational toy with a textbook and you tell your kid, hey kid, let's learn some coding today. You, you'll probably get a rejection. But if you show him or her Big and Buck, I don't think you need to really say anything. He or she will be dipped into ClickBot by themselves. Wow. So, okay, I would like to show you a little more today. If you have downloaded the phone app, this is what happens after you download it. So still, you don't have to dig into programming. So um, we will provide you this official configurations look like this uh, car and oh sorry I'm out of uh, internet <laughs> and um, like this little sea turtle this engineering car and guess what I don't I don't really know it's like uh, 50 of them look this is a crab at the end oh it's not the end yet okay a lizard at the end it's about 50 or more now I don't know so um, those are um, Every one is a very specific in shape and in function. We provide you already with all the configured programming and functions. You can see that they are all very different. Each one can be a type of uh, robot toy, remote control, which means ClickBot is also a very good substitute for toys. And what's better, it does not occupy that much space. So I'll simply show you a, uh, how you can control ClickBot in the playground with a, a, a very uh, simple way. We use a specific um, a virtual gamepad for connecting to the, uh, for operating this robot. And the connection is very simple. You can either put them in the same Wi-Fi environment or directly connect with a hotspot like Bluetooth. And um, after it's connected, you can simply, you know, um, make a, let's say make, um, make a very simple car. How about that? Mm -hmm. Okay, here is our car and we can, uh, let me find the car first. Okay, uh, got it. And Okay, uh, let's put it somewhere here. Uh, the modularity of this is just so fascinating to me. Yep, it's um, no need to. Uh, I'll show you a little bit more of the modularity. It's um, very fascinating. So let me put it um, the camera here. So, well, you can see it's a car, right? Right. All right. It, perhaps you will need to drive it. <laughs> but no, it scrambles. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow. yeah. Um, yeah, and that's you're controlling the, uh, that from your phone, from the app? Yes, it's from the app, and you can see I can switch in different uh, control method. This is for the scrambling, and of course you can you can drive it as a normal car. But I have a limited space, so I'm just holding it to show you how you how you can drive it. Look, it's, uh, now it's like a normal driving. You can turn, you can let it uh -huh. make a tricky, tricky ways. So, but still, that's only about 20% of ClickBot. I have a lot more to show you guys. Wow. So, yes. say, um, you want to do some programming now, but still, you don't need to know how to code. ClickBot provides you the no coding motion called, uh, function called motion programming. Like right now, I'm using this same head to assemble a little, a little dog. Right, and um, I want to make this little dog to lie down. All right, mm -hmm. and um, 
to lie down, what, let's say what, uh, what essential things for a robot dog to lie down, like perhaps just four steps, right? So what I will need to do is very simple. What I'll do is to, uh, for a robot to dog to lie down first, this leg goes down uh -huh. and this leg, front leg again, and the remaining two legs step by step and i only need to manipulate with my hands and check out what will happen the robot will remember it and wow. remember the manipulation automatically i don't need to really write any code in this uh, uh in the programming interface and of course maybe you want uh, click bot little dog to walk and you can do that too but you might need to investigate on how your dog or cat walk in the house how they exactly they move their legs and switching their mass point mm. body maybe you never did but you need to know that to program your click bot to walk you see it's simple but you learn you need to learn from mother nature and that's also a part of stem or steam education also like um like a car, I'll show you how how the extreme modularity we have we have done. So here is the little dog. I'm detaching the head, and see now I'm creating a a big again a big. But of course I'm not going to create a big. I'm going to make another same structure with one joint and two wheels, and I'll just connect them together with a one skeleton, and look what will happen. Look, I've got a four-wheel robot car. Wow. And that's how easy it is to use the extreme modularity to make your quick bot. Now it's four wheels, and you can also program it like same way. You can use your hand to manipulate. For example, you can like this, it's turning left. And mm -hmm. it's also good, you can this car, the real car turns with only the front wheels and the sports car turning with both. So that's why the mm. sports cars are much more swift. And for that, we all call it a STEM or a STEAM learning process. It's not only about coding, it's about everything in life, physics, biology, math, whatever. So um, it's just too many of these examples. I don't have time to list to you like one by one. I know. Okay. Well, thank you for showing us those examples. They're so fun. Sure. And again, I love how you've, uh, you know, drawn inspiration, obviously, from real life applications. And it's not all just about the coding, um, as you were saying, or the engineering. And I want to show you one more thing about the advanced feature. Of course, you want to know about coding, right? And coding is definitely the another core function of ClickBot and can make ClickBot much, much more fascinating. Okay, again, I'm just using this car and another modularity here, I'm gonna use a IR sensor as a tail. I'm just gonna connect it to the ClickBot car I just made. So now it has a tail of the distance sensor. And then I have already write my programming here, so I'll just let the, I'll just show you. I'm not going to run a programming lesson in the interview, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Here is the code I have uh, written. And it's, as you can see, it's not really boring code lines like, um, like hello world, if, else, blah, blah, blah. But it's actually very beautiful coding blocks. You simply need to drag and drop them and to the uh, specific place. And you can, you can do it. So, um, okay, so here is how I can control this robot. Look, my hand is not touching it, but it avoids me. And if my hand is moving far away, it moves back like a magic car. May the force be with you, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, there's just wow. too many things, cool things I, I would like to show you. I just don't have the time. And maybe, well, we can, uh, if you're interested, you can look at the YouTube and other places for reference. <laughs>
Yes. Well, you've sh like I said, you've shown us some great examples. Um, so much fun. And I want to ask you, Ash. So, how many different configurations are possible with the Clickbox Robotics Kit? Uh, wait. I actually I don't have the answer for this question. To be honest, um, if you are asking for the pre configurations we offer in the playground, we have now about fifty. And of course, we're releasing more. So I don't know, it could be a hundred or more by this year. Wow. So there's, and I think moreover, your creativity is not going to limit it by a number. There are just right. too many things you can come up with and create with ClickBot. And more, more than that, you can DIY and modify based on your current creation. Just like what I did, I added one more tail and it become a complete different ClickBot. Right. So um, just a quick uh, reference here. So like here, I have a ClickBot Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> and um, like here, this one, a snake with, wow. with because why not, like. right? <laughs> <laughs> and also a car, but with leg. Again, why not? Right. And it can drive, right? And um, another example, I don't really know what this is. It looks like an agricultural machine. Uh -huh. <laughs> so yeah, every new configuration is can be made by yourself. And it's just too many of them. I can I can like list it by number. Or let's say if you're asking for a number, hmm. I will say a thousand. It's not joking and I'm not crazy. It's true. A, a thousand different types of robots that you can create with yep. robot. Wow. Exactly. And one thousand robots in one. Wow. That wow. is amazing. So really you're only limited by, like you were saying, your your imagination and your creativity right. because there are so many Maybe. different possibilities. Yep. Amazing. Um, Ash, tell me more about the the social aspect of, of ClickBot. We obviously saw it with you know your example when you were petting it or poking its eye, it reacted to you. Um, yep. So tell me more about that and how um, that's also helping in, in childhood development. Sure. So um, I think there are two sides of the social aspect of ClickBot. First, it's a very good companion. Me, myself, I always like to place in ClickBot beside me when I was uh, working or studying at deep night, especially when learning Germany. <laughs> so yeah, and it can uh, work as my little pet, even though, I mean, probably won't call it a life, but it depends. So that's a very good little um, robotic pet for kids. And I think I do have another aspect or explanation of what is the social aspect of ClickBot. Check out this um, ClickBot app, which is new. And you can, as you can see, this is a community. And though for are not, uh, those contents are not generated by us, but all contents are generated by our users. Wow. As you can see, it has like um, ratings, it has um, pictures, top is ratings, and you can click into one of them, like this one. If you click inside, It'll show you the, um, oops, fail to connect uh, internet. Okay, now good. <laughs> so as you can see, our users are actually designing and making ClickBot and taking videos to upload to the community. Wow. It looks like a TikTok interface, right? You can like chat, you can, you can click like, but more than that, you can actually download the other people's design including their programming to yourself. Look, I am doing that and I can click build now. Look, it directly goes to my laboratory and I'm not because you, of course, you will need to ask or the other user will need to agree with sharing them. So that's in total is the aspect of uh, the social aspect of ClickBot and check out how many we have right now, uh, even though we only hit the market for less than uh, seven months, but now we already have 
almost endless organic content generated by our users. I don't think I can scroll to an internet today. Yeah. Look, it's just endless uh, organic content now. So um, yeah, that's everything about the social aspect of ClickBot. We believe it will be a future to make this product not only a robot product, but a good platform where everyone are contributing designs and ideas. Wow. Very cool. I love that communal aspect of it as well. Um, Ash, thank you so much for joining us today on this live episode of Beta Insider to tell us more about Kei Tech and ClickBot. Um, thank you for being here. So good to learn more about the product. You're welcome and thank you as well. So in one word, ClickBot is a great educational toy and a nice gift. Also a great add on to a family. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes. Definitely. Thank you, Ash. And thank you all for joining me here in the Beta TV studio. You can check out the ClickBot robot. It retails for $749 over at beta.com. You can also go to clickbot.kiirobot.com to learn more. Again, you guys are going to love it. Like Ash said, it's a perfect addition to the family. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you back here again very soon in the Beta TV studio for more live episodes of Beta Insider.